Welcome back to Adobe Dreamweaver CC. In this tutorial, here, we're going to explore the power of creating external links in your site. So I have one set up here for the University of Iowa. And as you can see as, see, as I hover over it in the live view, it says, Welcome to the University of Iowa. And uh, that is text that I added under for a title here. Uh, so the structure is the uh, anchor tag. It's not the link tag. Uh, which is what you would think of. The link basically is to link an external uh, style sheet or other document. Um, but the anchor tag has basically is utilized for creating uh, links uh, to other sites or into your own page. In this case, it's to an external site. It has the href attribute here, which is uh, stands for the hyperlink reference. And here is a protocol for the, the site, and then it has a title, Welcome To. And then it has a target here of blank. Now, you don't have to type out all this stuff. Uh, what's really great is you can do all this through the Properties tab down here, and I'm going to show you how to do that. But first, let's go to, uh, basically, you can preview this by going File, uh, Real-Time Preview, and choose whichever uh, browser you have set up. I have Google Chrome here. And uh, basically, I have another one here. Uh, you, I can click on it, and I can hover over it. It says, Welcome to the University of Iowa. And once I click on it, notice what happens. I am sent to the University of Iowa. Uh, and notice it's in a, a separate tab here. So this is actually really important. Um, it is done that because in Dreamweaver here, down here at the bottom for the target, I have set to blank. And uh, that basically opens up in its own tab. So let's do this with uh, Lasting Community College here and basically demonstrate this whole process. So again, if you don't have your properties window open, go to Window and go down to Properties to, to open it up. And then you can dock it to the bottom here like I have. So all you have to do, and you can do this in Live View or you can do this in um, the design, but it really doesn't matter. Just select the text here. And then down here in the properties, you can change, uh, you can add a link here. So what I need to do is find out what the URL is for Lassen Community College, and it's lassencollege.edu. So let's add that in there and see what happens here. So I'm going to add in uh, www.lassencollege.edu. I'm going to leave the target for blank and everything else just for right now. And it looks like it's done right. And let's see what happens here. I'm going to go File, Save. And then I'm going to go back to uh, right here. You'll see here's the update. And when I click on it, what's going to happen? Oh, file not found. What's going on here? Well, I did this on purpose. This is a very common mistake. Uh, what I have done is I actually typed in the URL, www.lassencollege.edu. You know, uh, but I didn't neglect it to add the protocol. The protocol is extremely important. Uh, it's what's called an absolute link. You need to have that HTTPS if it's a secure link or HTTP if it's not secure. And the best way to do that is actually go to the site that you want, click in there and highlight it, and then simply copy that link just by hitting Control C or uh, Command V on a Mac or Command C on a Mac, I should say. And then click in here, and then again just highlight it, and then uh, hit Control V or Command V on a Mac to paste in place. And you'll see here's the protocol. Now for this site, because this isn't a, it's an HTTP, I can leave it as a default. The default will basically uh, keep it in its own browser. The default is the same as new here. The other ones down here are older versions that really aren't utilized anymore. It's basically the default in the blank that is utilized. The default basically keeps it in the same browser. The uh, blank opens up in a new tab. So I'm going to leave it that way. I am going to give it a title, though. I'm going to add um, Welcome to Lassen Community College. And again, this is good for uh, assisted learning uh, devices. Uh, you know, basically it tells you where you're going. Uh, so let's go ahead and save this file, file save, and then um, I can go back to right here, and I can try that again. So now I'm in Lassen Community College. In fact, let's go to the home page and close this out so we make sure all we have is University of Iowa and this one. Let's click on Lassen Community College, and you'll see that it is opened up in Lassen Community College. And then if I hit the back arrow, I'm back here. 
So if I hover over it, you can see it says, Welcome to Lassen Community College. Again, welcome to the University of Iowa. If I want this to open in its own tab, again, I click in here under Target while it's selected, which it still is, and make sure I choose the blank. And now I'll save the file. File, save, and then uh, go back to right here, and then click on Lassen Community College, and voila, it opens up its own tab here. So now I can close it out and I'm back here. So uh, one important aspect is right now, as you can see, I can hover over and both of them have the, the hints for the, uh, the assistant learning devices, which is great. But what I want you to point out is when I click on, let's close out the University of Iowa here. When I click on University of Iowa, it opens up its own tab. What if I didn't want that to happen? Notice this is an HTTP uh, secure site. And if I go back to Dreamweaver here, and let's click on that the link, the University of Iowa link. And down here, instead of blank, let's use the default. Click out, save our scene, and then go back and see what happens here. So when I click on University of Iowa, nothing happens. What's going on here? Well, this is because it's, it's going from a non-secure to a secure site. So you have to have it in its own tab, essentially. So that's what's really important here. So I'm just going to hit the back arrow here. So make sure with HTTPS sites to use the default uh, for target switch to the blank. And again, that's while it's being selected. You can see it says University of Iowa. So that you know it's selected and it's selected here. Uh, at that point, I can again save it and then try it again. And everything should work fine. I got my little uh, information there as I scrub over and then I click and voila, I'm at University of Iowa and I'm at Lassen Community College. So that's the basic overview of how to create uh, external links in your website in Adobe Dreamweaver CC. Until next time, see you soon. Cheers.